Okay, friends, Doc South here with you, and oh, just uh, a, a neat thing happened on the on the way home from work, and I definitely want to share this with you because it was so darn cool. Yeah, I was heading home from work yesterday uh, evening, actually yesterday afternoon, pretty much late afternoon, early evening, and uh, I'm I, I travel pretty much from uh, Blairstown down to uh, well, I live the wife and I live in the Port Murray area of, New of northwestern New Jersey. Uh, it's a beautiful ride uh, from uh, Blairstown to where uh, Sandy and I live. Just gorgeous. And I always, actually, I always look forward to my commute. Yeah. And, um, but I'm heading, uh, I had just gotten on Route 46, heading eastbound. Uh, the, um, oh, the Portland Bridge was behind me. Uh, there's a bit of a straightaway, a little bit of residential, some, uh, Diesel fueling stations there for the uh, trucks that come off of Route 80, looking for a, a you know, a load of, uh, uh, well, for some diesel fuel and maybe a burger. And uh, I don't know, I'm I'm coming out of this uh, bit of a straightaway, kind of a residential straightaway. There's a, um, on my left would have been a, um, I was approaching a, well, a, a nice uh, spot where motorcyclists will stop uh, quite often on the weekend to get themselves a pizza. I, I don't want to say the name wrong. I know I pass the thing every day, but I don't want to get the name wrong. Um, I, it, it's a beautiful uh, uh, red building and, uh, again, quite often quite busy. wasn't busy just then. It was uh, still, yeah, it was still um, kind of before their opening hours. And... But there's a, a line of traffic uh, going my direction. I had noticed there wasn't much traffic going against me. And all of a sudden, traffic comes to a halt. And I said, oh, boy, what's this? You know, I'm looking around. I, I didn't see anyone running like it was uh, a wreck or anything, but traffic was stopped right there on the road. And I look, and I can just barely see around uh, one or two of the cars in front of me. And it turns out, uh, there was a tree had fallen across Route 46. Uh, yep, uh, from the edge of the, uh, of the uh, I believe, the biker bar's um, dry, uh, parking lot, all the way across Route 46 and into the, uh, uh, would have been the eastbound shoulder, there was this tree, <laughs> fairly big tree. Um, not, not, you know, f five feet in diameter or anything, but still, doggone it, it certainly was a, a tall tree. At one time, now well, where the stump was, there there wasn't much, uh, not much height left. Um, it turns out the tree broke and uh, fell across the highway, and people are wondering what the heck they're going to do. <laughs> you know, oddly enough, I don't know if you could have heard that, but it sounds. I think a limb just fell off a tree, uh, off uh, just off to my right onto our lawn. I don't think it's a biggie. But some kind of limb just fell off. I, maybe this is the time of year when limbs fall off of trees. I don't know. <sighs> I'm under a lot of trees here. <laughs> but in any case, this, uh, this uh, again, back to Route 46 yesterday on the commute home. There's this tree. And uh, it's, it's got the whole darn road blocked. Well, I, I, I turned the car engine off and I, I could see people getting out of their cars. And um, I go... I see some, there's two guys trying to move the tree, but it's way too heavy. And I said to myself, these guys ain't going to make it. Let me go. Maybe I can help, you know. And other people thinking the same thing. All of a sudden, there's a bunch of us out there on the, uh, on the road looking at it and uh, looking at that mess. And uh, it was a tree that was, I'd say, about at least where we would have to move. It was about this, this much in... <clears throat> diameter right it yeah uh, down near its stump it was bigger but mostly we were dealing with pretty much the lighter portion of the tree still everything had to be moved and uh, it was basically a big lever that had to come off the road because no one's moving you, you unless you felt like crashing into a doggone tree and i don't think uh, i don't think that would work too well well i all of a sudden there's uh more and more people getting out. There were, uh, there was a guy and his wife, I'd say in their uh, uh, probably mid-40s. They're, they're trying to push the tree, not having much luck. 
here comes another guy or two. Now I'm on it. But you know what really uh, worked it out nicely? Uh, yeah, we weren't having much luck. We were moving it a little, but, you know, maybe an inch or two. Sooner or later, you would have it off the road, but doggone. Um, and Trav, no, there's no one uh, of any authority there yet. Well, we were the authority. Uh, so I noticed there were three guys that must have been farmhands uh, somewhere. Uh, they, were, they were nice fellas. They were uh, uh, from Latin America. They were very nice and smiling, and they, they were stocky and muscles all over them. They look at that tree, and they say, I don't know, I, I, they were basically saying in Spanish, come on, let's help. And they're, they're grins, from, grins from ear to ear at, at the uh, prospect of doing this. They latch onto the tree, I'm latching onto the tree, and, and of course the lady and her husband, and, uh, and I, like I said, a few others, and we actually started moving the tree about a foot at a time, and grunting and groaning, pushing and shoving, uh, other people are joining the throng and uh, long story short in about two minutes we had that doggone tree off the road yes and uh, there were leaves and little branches here and there uh, I realized uh, the the crew <laughs> the crew uh, that I was with went and started getting the little branches but I realized that when traffic starts to move uh, my car is going to be sitting there in the middle of the highway so I I I yeah, we shook hands. We all shook hands, fist pumped and all that stuff. Yeah, oh, it was so neat. And uh, we got, uh, I got into my car. By the time I got into my car, traffic was starting to boogie. Yep, once again. Yeah, we had to run over some little branches and all, but nothing to write home about. Doggone if it didn't. Everybody just getting together with grins on their faces got rid of that obstacle. Traffic could have, at that time of day on Route 46, could have been backed up all the way to Cape May. And poor Jervis. <laughs> it was so doggone neat to see, I got to say. Oh, man. The, it, you know, people getting together for a common purpose, it's a force to reckon with. Huh? I know. Oh, I was so pleased. I, I, I kind of was thankful uh, I got to uh, partake. Yeah, my back felt a little. Uh, Sandy, I know. Well, she's, you know, what are you doing at your age trying to move a tree like that? It's like, hey, I'm all right. Yeah, there you <laughs> Feels fine today. Yeah, I just need a little sleep. But doggone, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Lord's Prayer moment. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. So be it. You know, I'm sitting here wondering just how big that tree's going to get as this story is told uh, by all the different, all my uh, fellow log pushers and myself too. I know it won't be long before the top of the tree was like this big. And yeah, we needed, uh, <laughs> and it took all our strength <laughs> to push this 90-ton tree off the highway. But we did it. Yeah, you know, this is going to grow. Yeah, this is a story that's going to, uh, yeah, that's going to take take flight, <laughs> shall we say. We'll see you later. Well, it's human nature. Come on. I'll see you later, friends. Thank you now. Bye-bye.